It's true. I was a bit awkward with girls before I started out. Really? Well, oh yes. You? Well, I had I had Debonair. a lot of I had a lot of <laughs> sisters and royal. Well, we we end up sheltered, don't He's we? He's got really good technique. He always brings bottled liquor with him. I learned very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> She's an excellent teacher. Hmm. Never mind. In fact, generally, money tends to make you. Miserable. No, Shittier. No, you know what? I don't fully agree with that. I don't fully agree with that either. <laughs> Although I, I spent quite a bit of time before I met this group of people, uh, dirt poor, beggar poor, and uh, mm. it wasn't the best time of my life. But uh, I don't remember my point. It was actually pretty <laughs> awful. I think um, you were going to bring up how you shat on money when we first met you and talked about how it was pointless and didn't bring you happiness. It's you true. It, I did say it was pointless you and did didn't run bring us happiness. You didn't give it away. And because it comes with an enormous amount of responsibility and uh, complications. Uh, and while it's nice to have, because I'm using it to do some good in the world now, and, and because without it she becomes slightly more questionably evil than she currently is, bless. Uh, She's so... It, it's not the secret <laughs> to happiness. It doesn't actually help if you're not already happy. It, it can augment existing happiness. It just doesn't create it from scratch. It's not... I feel like we're suddenly talking about your problems. Or, or baking bread, I'm not sure. I th I felt Still my metaphor your problems. Fall around. Hi. Yeah. Midnight at this point I'm, in time. I'm a little soberer than I'd like to let on. Okay. Not sober, but I kind of don't quite want to say surprise for tomorrow, but uh, uh, I may have something exciting to show you tomorrow. Oh, really? Yes. So I'm going to need you to be extra intimidating tonight, because tomorrow I'm going to be very intimidating right back at you. I like this plan. I figured you would. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to have to say hello to my sister. Yes. Do I need to come with you? No. Um, are we alone? Uh, well, I mean, you could, guys could fall behind the two of them yeah. if you want to. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't look in on Terry. You didn't? No. Did you not see anything? <sighs> what did you do? I saw Scanlan. You seemed bothered after you looked. Is everything all right? He's fine. What was he fine. doing? I haven't done anything yet. What was he doing? Enjoying himself. God knows. He has things that belong to me. Like what? He has the stone. But he I has... sort of gave that to him. Did we? I did. He has the earring. Yes. I kind of want them back. You don't think there's any chance he'll ever come back, do you? I think that if he did come back, I would be very worried about who he was. I'm feeling betrayed, and I can't help but thinking of all of our adventures over the last few weeks that he would have been oddly useful for so many of them. He well, would have been such a... <clears throat> you know what's funny? Is that he left feeling like we didn't appreciate his worth. And these last few weeks have really made me understand how much I did. I think he, he hit on a lot of really good points when he left us. I don't forgive him for them just yet, but... I'm trying not to hate him for it. I'm not. I've been that villain, and the best of them 
point out all of your flaws while they're busy exploiting their own. I am, um, I will admit, very angry. I, I don't want to interfere with his happiness. I don't want to interfere with his life, certainly not his daughter, but I will admit I am very angry, and perhaps the only thing that's keeping me from doing anything about that anger is your opinion of it. I don't mean to put this on you, this is not on you, but. Not at all, dear. I'm thinking of collecting what's mine. But I pull out Fendris, and I show him again what I've carved on the front of it. Seneth, do you remember when I told you about this? Yes. It's important. And I struggle with it a lot, you know. I, I tend to hold grudges. As do I. But if we're trying, that's important. Just think on it. Nothing rash, dear, all right? I'll think on it. I'll think on it. Thank you. Yeah. I'll be in the room. I'll be right there. Oh, oh yes. Um, Hi. The, uh, Vexalia. Vexalia. Yes. Thank you. Um, what, Lady what? Vexoria, Grand Mistress of the Grey Hunt, apparently. Uh, oh. Which I'm here to talk to you about. Oh. Well, um, uh. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> uh, and he wanders off and puts the broom back in this little closet, things clutter out, and he's like, ring, ring. He's like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Just to put things back up, closes the closet, kind of hobbles back in your direction. Um, you, you are, you are the. The Grand Mistress of the Greyhound. Apparently. She needs to be appropriately consecrated, obviously. Oh. Right. Oh. I thought that happened last night. <laughs> Shush now. <laughs> he looks lost. <laughs> anyway. Um, Did you want to say something, Percy? I just wanted to let you know that when I sort of sprung this title on you, I chose the Greyhound specifically. Uh, the third house is easy, it's just land and title, it doesn't mean anything. As a child, the Grey Hunt was fascinating because it was a title that one earned, and I felt that, I felt that you should have something like this that no one could do otherwise other than claim that you earned it. This is not something that can be given and you're going to be fine. I have complete faith. I give him a big hug and a kiss. I love you, dear. I love you, too. Good luck. Thank you. All right, get the fuck away from me, I've got to meditate. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna run to Percy. Do okay. I need to, ooh, am I allowed to ask him? I'm gonna run to Percy. Okay, Percival, you're, you've, Kind of been hoping that everything worked out okay. You haven't heard anything from Vexalia since the morning. She's been gone for a good 13 hours at this point, and it's close to midnight. Whoa. Um, at least I got some sleep. I'm, I'm a little bit. I'm <laughs> an hour in my study working on things. And you're in the process of, of, of going through books and such, and all of a sudden there's a rush of footsteps, and Vexalia comes bursting into your room. I had a vision. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, it oh, looks dear. really, really scary though. So thank you. <laughs> so sorry and excited. Uh, and okay, I have a question. Yes. Um, I saw a lake, a glade. Um, do you know of any? She describes the pond, and it's it's a smallish <laughs> pond. I just Glass I have a map like. in my study, and I just yeah. pull it out and just hand it. Mm -hmm. I must have a map. I you do. Like, you please, do. Yeah. Please tell me. Percy. Do you know of anything that's big and tall, like around ten feet, has six eyes going straight down in a row, and like in pairs, and then like is like really thick hide skin, like legs like trunks? Drug when I'm drunk. Well. Drug when you're Do sober. I know anything? This is not your specialty. You haven't dealt with the Greyhunt personally, and this is not ringing a bell. 
Is it usually different creatures? It's different every time. Okay. Hey, do you remember when we were coming here and we were camping out in the woods outside mm -hmm. and there was a woman, I think, that walked by with a pack of, was it wolves? Yeah. Did that have anything ago. to do with this? I don't know. Great. Just wondering. Just thought of it. Okay. <laughs> I might see you later. <laughs> of morning sun beginning to crest over the mountain. I bet everyone thinks we're dead. Hey, Pelo. Pelo. I don't know if I'm saying your name wrong. Uh, thanks for that. And I'll be here next time you send something my way. It's <laughs> <laughs> so bruised, right. beaten. You and Trinket find your way back to Whitestone. You stumble up just as just as everyone's kind of coming to consciousness. The worrying has kept you up, and you've been. I've known that the, the necklace hasn't gone. No. Um, uh, and eventually. As you guys are getting breakfast and discussing if anyone had seen you, you watch as Vexalia stumbles in, bloodied, bruised, filthy, and Trinket stumbles in beneath and just kind of chucks this giant gray, severed hand of a creature <laughs> onto the ground. And she's great with money, and oh, look, she's back! <laughs> oh, you look awesome! You look, I mean, you look like shit, but you look awesome! Who has mimosa? We yeah. all gear. <laughs> you look uh, great. That thing looks so heavy. It is so heavy. I couldn't pick it up. To make oh, it had to carry it. What yeah. did that belong to? It was this big, like, weird rhino-y thing with like six eyes, <gasps> and like I tried to talk to him, but he just didn't want to listen. And I swear, he almost fucking killed me. And did you have any eyes to, to, to him? Hmm? I mean, I, yeah. Big rhino yeah. with six yeah. eyes. I said, yeah. "Fine, for you." But sure, you've read around. Yes. Yeah. I'm like rolling. Uh, this would be a general intelligence check. Just a general intelligence check? That's what I've uh, read around. Uh, 23. 23. As soon as she says that, and you're like, this is a gray render. You killed a gray render. Wait, I asked you, I asked you before I left. Do you know of anything that's gray with like six eyes and you didn't know and now you know? Seeing the hand kind of triggered it. <laughs> There's a surprising number of things with, with six eyes, and that's... <laughs> that's... that's you feel... look like mother right now. You do. Keep going. I'm not sleeping, I'm just closing my eyes. Fuck, I love you. I love you. <laughs> um... So you did it. You've you you did the thing. Yeah. Yeah. You've carved out a little spot for yourself here. Oh well. For now. Yeah, I guess so. This is the second half of that conversation. <sighs> We've nothing left to do in the in the short term. Right. And you love Percival. Mm -hmm. And Percival loves you. So much, like he's just so in love. No like, duh, no duh. Obviously. And I love Keyleth. Mm hmm. And Kiki loves me. Just so much. I don't know. So much. I, I, I don't want to set time on it, but... You're leaving. You are going to stay here for a while, y yes. And you're welcome to come with me, but I don't think you want to go. No. You know, I'd hoped we'd have the gates toned for this moment, but... Wait, are you fucking leaving now? No, 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 no. I sit up. No, no, don't jump ahead of yourself. No, I just meant we have work to do. I yeah. Mean, I'm going to go to Zephra, and you're going to be nobility? I don't nah, fucking nah. know. 
No, that's funny. <laughs> How stupid is that, huh? Just a little bit, but you wear it really well. Thanks. Really well. You know. You're classy. We get some dresses made, I'm, it's no big deal. Yeah. It'll be so classy. I'm very proud of you. Are you like gonna get married? I think you should. I feel like you're gonna I feel like you're gonna do it. I feel like it's gonna happen. I just wanna be there for the wedding. Don't like go off in secret and do it, alright? I would be very pissed. I love you, let me sleep. <laughs> right. Well, I don't have Sweet. very much on my person. Whatever you feel would be a viable trade within the eyes of the uh, Moonweaver herself. Uh, you know that uh, she is the goddess of uh, the moon, of the night, and of autumn. She is known as, she, she doesn't fall on the good or bad spectrum, she's generally a bit of a trickster but, however, tends to be used, or at least called to, by young love to bless trysts to not be discovered. Um, uh, that's kind of the gist of what you can pick up on that roll, yeah. All right. Um, I have a small flask of courage. Um, I feel like she would appreciate this. He takes a moment, looks at it. I think the goddess will be pleased. Percy? Yes? The, um, the crystal that Lilith gave you, does that work across planes, or is that? Uh, the, the Gatestone does, you have to be on the same plane of existence. Okay. We thought about it. <clears throat> I definitely think there's something on the other side of this. And... This thing is how I think I know that our work is not yet done. I, uh, I dream about it sometimes. Do you ever come down and just look at it? Um, to be honest, it intimidates me quite a bit. What do you see? What do I see? Can I use my um, oracle arrow and shoot it into it? Mm. Certainly give it a try. <laughs> certainly try. What's an oracle arrow? So you can shoot this arrow and, yeah. and see through the arrow? Okay. So I can shoot it into a cave. So All right. What do I do? Don't go ahead and roll an attack. Shoot, shoot now. Okay. Let's back up a bit of a distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll you know, back up as far as we can, so it I can still hit the thing. Magical arrow. It is a magical arrow, and this thing cuts out all the magic. But maybe once it goes through the siphon, maybe I'll still be able to use oh. it. Well, we can actually get to the edge where the where magic starts again, and then it might reconnect once it goes through. I don't through. know. It's worth the siphon. Yeah, we'll stand around. outside of the door. Do you only have one okay. of these things? I have two per short rest. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. go for it. Go for As it. part of your newly exalted. Yes. Um, okay, this is going to be. This is. Don't hold on. Whatever. I'll hold on to that roll, whatever okay. that was. Okay. Um, so to get out of the radius, because it basically cuts right into the hallway that leads inside of it. So you have to back out of the chamber into the hallway a few feet and basically get on the ground and aim upwards towards it, and you're going to have to arc over the top. Of the ziggurat oh, to get in, so this is a shot with a disadvantage. Right, sharpshooter with a disadvantage. I am sharpshooter. That wouldn't I don't know that nullify that? that? Three quarter covers means nothing. Well, it's just full cover. Well, yeah. uh, what I was going to say is, what it, it would have a really high AC with disadvantage. I'm not going to consider it with having a super high AC. It's still okay. a very hard shot. So disadvantage. So disadvantage in the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty. Whoa! Both yeah. of them were Both really high good. Teens. It's the critical Jesus. roll. Oh, it is the critical okay. roll dice. Oh. Percy! <laughs> I, saw, I saw something. You didn't, really? I did. I think it was another plane. Uh, Bex dies. We have to figure out how to, is there a way to make sure we get every detail? I'm finding pen and paper, we're writing everything you can remember okay. down. Um, is there a way to 
recall someone's memory in perfect detail? Is there any sort of magic that can that can actually? There like, are, yeah. Okay, this shit's happening. <laughs> otherwise, I can just tell you what they sort of saw, but yeah, you know, no, no, we are, they're we are all I heard. I heard a lot of back blaze <laughs> in the background. It was the back blaze dimension. <laughs> it's a tower. This is spectacular. This is great. <laughs> We have to let everybody know. Oh God, we have to let everybody know. And I grab her and we bolt. Okay. Ow. Does it sound like anything you know? No, yes, maybe, uh, I don't know. Okay. I'm not sure. We have, this is a breakthrough. We have a breakthrough. We have a breakthrough. I am running to Cassandra, who I'm sure is asleep. Uh, yeah, I mean, most, most everyone's, like you guys have all gone to bed at this point, I imagine. You guys are down there pretty late, kind of. Uh, well, first, I drag Keyleth off to the cozy uh, little bathtubs that they have here in the castle <laughs> oh, and no, took the opportunity. Like they were quite small, <laughs> actually, and washed all of the caked in, the last of the caked in blood okay. and everything. And got because I say it, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> I have like a full Roman sauna underneath it, but that's yeah. fine. Not Whatever the one you that mean. I saw. Well, <laughs> I took uh, JB back and we, we built a fort. Okay. Well, okay. There's new, um, there's new information. All right, so that being the case, you let Cassandra know. Uh, okay, Cassandra goes, my god, all right. Um, well, uh, let me, I think I, hold on. And she goes and rushes back to her room and she comes back with a, a small, looks like a, like, a, like a river stone, but it has what looks to be a, a small rune card into it. She takes it and holds it and goes, uh, sorry to bother you, my dear, but apparently Percival has a breakthrough in regards to the cigarette in the orb. Uh, as soon as you can, please. And then takes it and puts it in a small pouch. Uh, hopefully, Alora received that and she'll be arriving soon. Excellent. Um, I, as to ask, I don't know how to get in touch with him, and he's probably well into his sleep and he gets He'll cranky. find out in the morning. Right. Oh, this is good. We'll start, we'll start looking with the new data as soon as everyone gets here. This is excellent, excellent! Good night, go to sleep. Why are you awake? No. And I'm out the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I, yeah, run to Vex's house, we're done. All right. Cool. All right, so you guys just go to bed? Yeah. I mm -hmm. guess so. Okay. You're fine, yeah. 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 But, so. we actually, Percy, yes? off subject, but when I saw Keyleth, I mean, she was destroyed, right? I mean, fucking destroyed. Arms everywhere, <laughs> limbs broken, just terrible. Yes. And I mean, we put it back together. Yes. Like we always oh. do. But I, I can't get Scanlan out of my mind. It's so random, I know, but what if, what if that happened to him and we're not with him? No one's there to cast Revivify. If he wanted to be found, he'd be found. His daughters are there, and maybe he is possibly smart enough to explain to her how that stone works. Have you scried on him again? Not successfully, not since I briefly found him, and then I lost him. But I always have people looking. All right. I don't know. I don't know why he's on my mind. Obviously, we have much bigger things. I think maybe bigger things will help. It's been too quiet. I'm Not getting... good at quiet. No, I mean, I've enjoyed it. This has been great. Everything, everything's yes, been great. Yes, of course. This is wonderful, but I miss, I will admit, I miss, uh, I don't know what I miss. I miss it, though. <laughs> I feel like I'm tempting fate, and I'm going to regret everything I say right now, one I day. I think we are. Who knows what this will lead to. Maybe we can shut it down for good. Yes. Maybe we're going to go find a small black tower <laughs> somewhere <laughs> filled with death and despair. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. No. You get advantage on Christmas checks. checks. 
Yeah. Roll the dice. On checks. <laughs> <laughs> Her, like, cleavage gets a little nicer, you know, her hair gets get a little nicer fuller. Than it already is. Yeah. <laughs> All said out loud. Twinsies? Always have your back, Dad. Oh. Vax isn't here. Hey, Vax. Mm. You want to go help me save my family by risking our lives in almost certain death? Uh, what does that entail? We are... Uh... I'll take it as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> Keelith? Vax says yes, and so do I. I. Science bro? Vax says yes, and I am <laughs> so in the mood to kill something. <laughs> <laughs> you promised you'd keep that secret. She has a mean streak. I have so many secrets to keep, dear. So, <laughs> so many. I was learning about the world, and about life, and about family. I was learning from these fine people what it means to really be a family and ca care about each other. I learned, I learned from Grog and Vax what it means to be a man and to be a father. I learned from Pike what it means to be a caring mother. I learned from Keyleth what a real sister is like one who loves you and cares for you. I learned from v Vex what a best friend is like. These are things that you never gave us growing up. I even learned from Percival the, ty the type of man I would want to marry one day. And we never got that at home. And from this day forth, I'm going to create a home, my home, that I own, that values and respects the opinions of each family member. Probably, yeah. Uh, really, really, really. Okay, good. Really. Um, drink for the road. And he gives you a little shot to you, Vex. Goes. Huh? Why do we have to go? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just get yeah. the bartender. Right. We're also a little Jimmy Jack. Yeah, I haven't right actually had the drink yet. I was afraid it might be poisoned. I mean, yeah, maybe not. Let's steal a sip of the drink. Oh, God. Possible. Make a cut. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't swallowed it. I'm just going to. Hmm, hmm. How is he? It numbs a bit of the surface skin. Seems well, like a strong alcohol. I don't know. All right. Congratulations, us. To... Maybe later. No. Oh. Um, Should have given you a more expensive shot. We are a little beat up and stuff. What would you have is it? done if I had just decided to open fire on you? I would have, I would done have stopped what... you, darling. I knew it was him right away. I would have done what Scanlan would, would always me do. After three rounds, at the very least, I would have <clears throat> won and killed you. I mean, I'm super powerful and awesome. Yes. <clears throat> hey guys, does I... anyone have any shears? Uh. Yes and no. So he, shears. I have them. You can't have them. So Percival walks past and approaches them. Oh, they're bonding. He's a bit adorable. Hmm. <sighs> Seems nice. He's likable. I am angry, frustrated, and violent, and so I'm going to try something new and drink chocolate milk, <gasps> and listen to you and do whatever it is you think is best at this point. I don't know what to do. He's learning. What do we do? What do I do? I don't know what to do either, dear. Mm -hmm. I think it's a matter of, um... Forgive. Well, I'm not there yet, but I know I'm feeling emotional, and I know that um, it's when I need to shut up and listen to you, so... Well... It's going to take time, I think. Yes. I'm surprisingly okay with it. I'm just happy he's back. I'm less not okay than I thought I'd be. I'm worried about Grog. I'm very worried about him and Pike. And I'm very worried about Pike. I don't know what to do. By the way, which, what you said back there with your family about me? Yes? That was very flattering. Well, I know you're taken and, you know, it doesn't mean I can't be flattered. I'm quite flattered. That was very flattering. Well, I, just, I meant it. And, you know, if things were different, you know, I would feel the same way. If things were very different. 
I get it. I, I get no, it. You no, know, no, you're, you're, sort you're of quite making a, it you're worse. You're quite a catch. But you're quite a catch. Can I mean, we stop flirting with each other? <laughs> <laughs> Thought it might be fun. Oh. <laughs> this has been nice. It's always nice. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm real happy with my setup these days. But, um, With Kili? That was the implication. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I miss you busting my balls on the regular. I know, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I miss it too. I think uh, we were about to head back, but we gotta get this sorted out first. Yeah. What do you reckon's next? We're going to Marquette, then? Yeah, probably, on Corel. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You don't seem fine. Ah, uh, no, I'm great. You know, it's interesting, Scanlan being back. Yeah. Makes me realize that, you know, he's not the only one who keeps secrets. Mm-hmm. And you can't blame someone for, for, for keeping things to themselves, you know? So I'm, I'm not mad at him anymore for the things that he, he keeps to himself because everybody's got their something, you know? Are you getting at something? No, I'm just saying I understand where he's coming from and I am all right with it now. I'm fine with it, with the secrets. I feel like I'm missing something. No, nothing at all. Hmm. Outside the sun tree, Gavin. just before we've left Whitestone. I just want to make a point that I have alerted everybody in the government, everybody reasonable, that where we're going, why we're going, and that there should be people watching the ziggurat underneath Whitestone 24 7 while we're on this mission. Just anything happens. Be prepared for anything. Not a problem. You're so brilliant, Donnie. Yeah. A group we, hug. We, it's really good. You okay. Hug. Take, okay. okay. Group this hug. Is, come on. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. no. Can I hug everybody else? I, this is just weird. Definitely this is. This is. Meet I mean, you know, I can. <laughs> no, I can get. No, no this is right. It's nice and fuzzy there. Thank you. Yes. No. This exact. Is this a ten-minute huddle? It's 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 a ten-minute, like hug it out. Ten I hug it out. is so awkward. <laughs> I know. So Are we attracting and, any? And not in Keyleth's bailiwick at all. <laughs> Are we attracting any awkward looks? I, to give few, I, I feel like I would have abstained from the ten minute group hug. Okay. Oh, you get none. I would have gone in and brought you in. I keep trying to grab. Come on, come on, come on, hug it out. All right. Come on. Okay. Uh, so you brought Scanlan and Terry for this. Yes. Are they both? No. Scanlan steps out. Terry's in. All right. Yeah. So, <laughs> so everyone. Except for Scanlan, gets uh, 17 temporary hit points. Yeah. Kiki. No, no, no. Percy brought me in. He just said. Uh, I did. Cavern. It is just darkness. Is Percy back yet? Yes, I just got back. All right. Percy, yes. hold on to my waist, dear. All right. Can we use our flashlights or no? No, no, I don't okay. think so. Uh, I'm going to stay 30 feet in front of the. It's hard. I know. It is hard. Well, you know, if you feel like staying up and wandering around and talking to some people. I, I come running up. No, now, we're going. Good night, good night. Now, now, no, okay. no more. Good night. Well, good night. Good night. Okay. <laughs> good night, you two. <laughs> we haven't been here in a while. Oh, I know. <laughs> I kind of um, want to break a few things. <laughs> I... <laughs> You've earned it, fucker. <laughs> Do you see the face of Delilah Briarwood? <gasps> we killed her! What? She's dead! No! She's dead! She died! We killed her! Oh, no! Yet there she is, at the top of the ziggurat. How? How? It's like a soap opera. Dun, dun, dun! I broke the world for you, you returns. I would like you all to roll initiative. Oh! <laughs> About to move. They're about to just invade. Burn the fucking city down. Uh, uh, I mean, sure. <laughs> what? Where'd that come from? <laughs> I mean, if they're planning on transporting this whole fucking city and setting an army loose on our world, why don't we just burn the whole fucking city down? 
Destroy their rations, destroy their weapons. I'm excited about this plan. I think it's a good plan. What? Wait, what? No, no it's not. City. Maybe 35 or 40 total people in matching or close cultist robes or similar colors all making their way towards the tower. for an occasion, fuck it. Mm. We gotta go. Let's go. 35 to 40 people, let's kill them all on the way up. <laughs> in robes? Man, you're frosty today. You're just they're like trying it. to come over into our territory. I don't like it. <laughs> they're all assholes. No one walks away. People don't tell us to stop if they're not afraid of what we're doing. To the end. To the end, to the end. Oh Which, as you release the revivify, you reach down and grab the cold, lifeless hand of Vex. I need you to go ahead and just roll a wisdom check. With inspiration. Fuck, 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 Should she need it? Should she need it? And don't I get no I'm cunning, so I have advantage on it? No, it's not a saving throw, it's just a check. So okay. you just roll a d12, d20, add your wisdom modifier. Grab everything we fucking yep. can. Yep. Uh, we'll 18. 18, yeah. <gasps> the breath comes in. Hi, Mike. So you're at one hit point. Are they dead? No. You look over to your side and you see Delilah on the ground, her head kind of scattered and exploded on the ground. The one kind of yellowish green eye kind of still like. And you need healing. Like a mother. Don't don't shrug uh, at me. She's fine. 